All right. What I was asking you, who first off, who won the debate tonight? I always begin that way. Rump. Who says John McCain won the debate? Raise your hands. Three, wow. only four of you. Who says Mitt Romney? About half of you. Who says Mike Huckabee? Almost half. Ron Paul. Now, <laughs> I asked the question, what you thought of the debate tonight. How many of you were satisfied with the tone of the questions? Raise your hands. Look at this. Not a single hand went up. What was your complaint about the debate? I really felt that CNN and the LA Times are really hostile territory for Republicans. And th that's why I thought that even though... Um, the, I thought that McCain actually won the debate in some ways because McCain really showed himself very presidential in a very hostile environment. Your reaction to the questions? Well, the questions were the most insipid questions possible. Who cares who Ronald Reagan would have endorsed and who cared about the last eight years? None of those people running now have anything to do with the last eight years. How about the tone between the candidates? Entirely too much sniping between McCain and Romney, and Ron Paul was absolutely marginalized. I really wanted to hear more from him. How many of you would have preferred just a two-person debate between Romney and McCain? Raise your hands. How many want all four candidates included? How about all three? All three. Your reaction to the debate? Uh, I, I will say I learned more about Huckabee, and I, I almost feel like I was tranced or something, because I hated him coming in, and, and I think he's viable. Now, you switched your point of view, Mike. Yeah. Um, I was uh, very undecided uh, after all the people who have dropped out in the past. Um, I very much feel that Romney is the guy that he can get the job done. I uh, really liked the way he talked about his policies and his experience tonight in, in a much stronger and mo with more emphasis than he ever has before. And you also switched. I was with McCain as much as I appreciate the um, tribute he did with our um, you know, military, it felt very one-noted, every answer ended that way. So I went actually with Huckabee. I felt he had a, a grasp on the people. Did any of you have a problem with how the back and forth between McCain and Huckabee, was that okay to you or not? Was it okay or not? No. 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 How many of you had a, raise your hands if you really didn't like watching the two of them? What's the problem with that? I mean, they disagree. Isn't that okay? Well, unfortunately, what it does is it detracts from the issue, which the issue is unity. And clearly, there's no unity. Chris, Christy. There, there were a lot of cheap shots taken, um, mostly by McCain, but I saw on both sides, but cheap shots. John, I want to bring you in here. You've got yeah. the British experience, but you've been living oh, in America for a while now. Let me ask you, as you watch this debate, and you saw the lines go up and down, we're going to be showing Hannity and Combs viewers tomorrow, the, the top lines and the ones that failed. Is British politics more substantial than American politics? No. No, not at all. I thought this was a very, very interesting debate, and I think that it's great that you have so many of them, because you, begin, you really begin to get a feeling for the candidates after you've seen them a lot of times. Now, I, I, I think this is a really great process. What about the advertising? We were talking about well, that the earlier. Well, the, the, the really, I mean, you won't believe this, there's no paid political advertising on British television. We don't have those 30-second things. Uh, they Would you like that, by the way, to cut out all the ads? No. Yes. No. Yes. no. Yes. But you, it means that everything's got to be condensed into 30 seconds. And that means that it's just sound bites, so that nothing substantial, you just sort of put across a slur or a, hmm, you know, I like that person, hmm, oh, no, I don't like him. <laughs> You know, and it, that's about it. So hey, Frank. The, uh, I love the fact that when we have politics on British television, it's paid for by the television companies. And that's got to be the uh, last one. Guys, we got to run. Okay. We thank John Cleese. We thank oh, Frank.